So first time, the operation of the AI-06 is uh, we have four buttons at the top. The leftmost button is home screen. The left button is switch view, which switches between Apple CarPlay slash Android Auto. Meter mode, one is the speedometer, and the other is the lean angle sensor. So during the lean angle mode, you can see here the front tire pressure and rear tire pressure. At the same time, your trip distance and battery voltage. In the speedometer mode, altitude, sunset time, or sunrise if it's nighttime, you also still have the lean angle gear and also the trip and battery voltage. You can also see the tire pressure monitor here as well as the tire temperature, which will be activated with TPMS. That is an optional accessory. So if you want to activate the tire pressure monitor function of the AI-06, just tap the tire pressure output here at the home screen. We can set the alarm once we have set our uh, Low pressure and high pressure value, we can start pairing the sensors. Just tap the pair icon here, then we can install the front sensor at the front tire. Once we have installed the front sensor, we wait until it has a reading at the front, then we can install the rear sensor. Once that's done, you can go back to the home screen and you can already see your tire pressure here or at the meter mode where you can see the tire pressure and tire temperatures. Our third button here, is the video mode. So it switches the view to our video input from the cameras. So the first view is the front view. Pressing it again will switch it to the back view. Pressing it again will switch to the front view with the small back view here. And the last view is the back camera with the front view. Normally, we recommend leaving it at the just the back view. So while you're riding, you can press the video mode and you instantly have a uh, rear view mirror of sorts. Then if you tap the uh, screen, there will be uh, the record, the screenshot, switch view, and of course, the VIP camera settings. Our recommended settings is uh, just leave it at the 1080p resolution at 60 FPS. Normally, we, you'd like to turn off the fusion mode. Fusion mode combines the uh, front and back camera. So since we have a uh, SD card here, we could just leave it off. Video length is two minutes. Data overlay, you would like to uh, turn off the lean angle and the speed. Collision lock, you would like to turn it at the lowest sensitivity because at high sensitivity, smallest of potholes and speed bumps would register as a collision. So what collision lock does, it locks the certain video when it detects a collision. So just in case your memory is full, it will not overwrite that particular video. Then parking monitor, Unless you're parking in a very quiet environment, just turn the parking monitor off. If you're going to turn it on, don't forget to turn it off again. Because sometimes the sensitivity, even at the lowest settings, is too sensitive. So what happens is that every time a dog barks or a noisy motorcycle passes by, it keeps recording, then your battery dies. So that's our recommended camera settings. Before you use the bike, you have to format that SD card. To format that SD card, press the settings here at the lower most right icon on the screen. Go to storage, select the SD card, and press format. So it will format the SD card and check if the read-write speed is correct. So you're good to go. All the new camera footage will be downloaded directly to your SD card. Then the last is the lock button. Pressing it once will turn off the display. But as you can see here, all the cameras are still recording. All your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi connections are also still connected. Press it again to turn it on. If you hold this for more than three seconds, the screen will lock. So the screen lock is very useful when it is raining to prevent any uh, droplets from registering as a tap. To unlock the screen lock, just tap it once, then swipe it up. Okay, now we'll show you how to pair your Apple phone to your AIO6. Turn on the cell phone connection screen on the Chigi AIO6, then select Apple CarPlay. Once that's selected, go to the Bluetooth on your phone. So uh, every Chigi has a unique number. In this case, it's 0049. Connect to 0049 LEE first. Your LE connection is for notifications. So every time you get a message, pop-ups or whatever, you can see it real time on your AIO6. Once that's connected, you can connect to the 0049 without the LE. That will then initiate the CarPlay function. Once that's connected, there will be a prompt on both screens. Just confirm and allow. 
Once you get the prompt to connect to CarPlay, just click Connect. Once your phone is connected, you can turn off your phone, keep it in your pocket. All your apps that's compatible with Jiggy AI06 will be already here. Okay, we'll show you how to download the camera footage from the AI06 to your cell phone. First off, download the Chigi Go app available at the App Store or at the Google Play Store if you're using an Android. Open it up and uh, sign in using an email account or your Facebook account. Then you can press Add Device. Since we're using an AI06 LTE, we will tap that. After that, we will scan and bind our AI06 LTE to our Chigi Go account. So once we bind the device, it will prompt that the binding was successful. Then we will tap this. So I can see all the tire pressure, the location, live feed, and other riding statistics from the bike. That is given if you have the LTE features loaded up on your bike. So once we are at the download mode of the AI06, we go to the app. Then we click on connect to vehicle system. Then we look for the unique device number, which is Chigi0049 on this particular unit. Once we connect, we wait for it to connect and we allow any prompts. We just click OK when the connection is authorized by the AI06. It will prompt connection successful and you are now connected to the camera of the bike. So as you can see, there's a live feed for the front camera or rear camera of the bike. So local albums are all downloaded videos and the car device album is the videos currently on the unit. So for example, if you want to download a particular video, we just type download and it will start downloading. Once the download is complete, you can find your downloaded album in the local album gallery or at your phone's gallery. So that's how you download the video from the AI06 into your cell phone via the Chigi Go app.